What's up, guys? It's Lady Calista. Today, we are going to talk about a topic that I will say is the most frequent topic that I get from Lords Mobile players, which is the case of the guild bully. Now, what is the guild bully? Well, the guild bully is someone like me, um, being totally honest and frank. And it's a larger player, typically, let's say, over 100 mil. I mean, you can find some that are smaller, but they're usually traps or something. I don't even know. I mean, typically, there'll be over 100 mil, and they are going to be players that like to port in the middle of a hive and just start burning everything that is unshielded, right? Um, and now... The first thing that you should think about is kind of like, why is this happening? And a lot of you guys, when you send me your mails, you feel like you're being unfairly targeted and that these players are just jerks and they don't like you and there must be some reason. And I want to tell you guys, like, I feel like, and I can only speak from personal experience and the people that I know, right? But when we do that stuff, it literally does not matter who we're doing it to. It's, we are just there to get kills, heroes, and resources. And I hate to sound like a jerk when I say this, but my goal with this video is to help you guys understand why so you can help figure out how to stop it, right? Um, so that's why. So I don't want you guys to start thinking, oh, this is like a personal vendetta. They really hate us. Or It's usually none of that. They're just looking for resources. It takes a lot of resources to make T4 troops, to heal troops, to just keep these accounts running, you guys. And then they want heroes. Why do they want heroes? Well, they want heroes to get that boost because that boost is going to help them be stronger when they're fighting for wonders or they're rallying other big players, right? So I want you guys to have that perspective because it's going to help make sure that you guys aren't giving them what they want because then they're going to stop, right? Um, so the first thing that I'm going to say, this is going to, half of you guys are going to hate this, but it's like don't hive because if you hive, and there is a video that I made around to hive or not to hive, another video on different hive formations. There are ways that you can hive to make it safer. But in general, the concept of having clustered castles together make it very easy for a player that is larger to solo everyone in one shot. You're making it easy for that player. You're not making them spend um, speed ups in getting to your castle quickly back and forth. You're not making them spend more importantly relocators you're you know what i mean like you're saving them money by doing this because if they have to spend a ton of relocators it starts to become a pain in the butt and you start to feel it and the biggest thing that i hear big players say is like oh out of relocators right so think about that and if you all cluster together you make it super easy so that's like the number one tip and i know a lot of you guys aren't gonna like it but i'm being completely honest with you guys in terms of what i feel will help you guys it's the don't Hive. The second one is going to be if you insist on hiving, hive the right way. There are islands that you can use. Um, if you look at the high formation video, I'll show you guys um, live and in color what that looks like um, and what not to do, right? Make sure that you're plugging the holes. There's the, that kind of stuff, like if you're going to insist on hiving. The third thing is going to be um, make sure you're not giving them what they want. So make sure that you are shielding. A shield is if you see, let's say, seven shields and two unsheltered castles you're probably gonna nah, you're gonna think about it you're not gonna immediately go there so shields are absolutely your best friend in this case in avoiding hive bullies so use your shields um number four if you can't use your shield well don't give them what they want again what does that mean don't have resources out make sure that you are using everything that you're producing if not that you are trading it right away like if you are insisting on being in this high formation then like use it right for for what it's meant for nobody should be sitting on millions and millions of resources right because they're going to scout you and then they're going to just they're going to hit you because they're like oh they have resources and then they're just going to hit everybody right you don't want that so make sure that you use up all your resources make sure that you're always hiding your leaders leaders are a hot commodity you guys like for you guys that are sitting in castles that are level 17 and up like your leaders are going to be a hot commodity if you have a leader that's a level 60 that's a big deal like people fight over that okay so always 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 hide your leader and try to minimize the amount of troops that you have in your castle if you're not shielded make sure that you're sheltering them you're putting them in a fake rally basically you're getting them out of your castle so by the time i show up and scout you you are totally empty of resources hero and troops making it therefore ridiculous for me to port right like there's no reason i would go hit you guys like what's what would be the point of that um 
So those are kind of like the top four tips in terms of dealing with a hive bully. I cannot tell you how many times I've written these out for people that are struggling with somebody visiting their hive every single day. Um, I, I'll throw this. This will be like the, the star tip, the number five that I wasn't planning on giving you guys until I just said this, is if you have a bunch of players that are constantly unshielded and let's assume they're hyper so they actually make quite a bit of rs move and you insist on on hiving move leave them behind do not have these unsheltered castles like unshielded castles in the middle of your hive because you call and attract attention same thing with holding prisoners you call and attract attention unless you are a very very big player it's it's attention grabbing right like you have that sign above your castle so that's the kind of stuff that you don't want to do is you don't want to grab attention so that'll be number five it's like don't grab attention move if you have an unshield an un um shielded castle that is no longer part of your guild or you kick a player out just like have everyone move get away from them um if it's causing you problems and don't hold leaders in the hive because that is a surefire way as you're kind of scrolling quickly through the map that really sticks out and you're just going to invite company. Hopefully this helps. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you have any questions or comments below.